Hi there, it's uh, Les and we're going to have a, a tutorial here on creating a brush in Photoshop and then we're going to actually learn how to use the brush and create some nice effects with it and basically just follow the instructions do everything that I do on the screen and nothing else and, and you should be okay to go so first thing is file new from Photoshop itself What we want going to create here is a background to put our brush on. Uh, and basically I'm going to use uh, a custom. So we go to custom on there for the document type. And then we're just going to put the size in. And we're going to use a size of 800 pixels. So if you've not got pixels there, change that to pixels, which you can do there. So 800 by 800. For the resolution, I'm actually going to use 200. The colour mode RGB, 8 bit, which will probably be already set on yours. The background contents really doesn't matter too much about that, but it's on white at the moment. It doesn't want to be on black, so probably choose white for that. The rest you can just leave as it is and click on OK, and that will give us this okay so we're now in Photoshop and we've got the new document 800 by 800 pixels and we need to view the layers next so we go to there's different ways to do that if you go to window layers you will see on the right hand side the layers come up or you can actually access the layers by clicking the little icon there on the right hand side the layers palette we need to create a new layer so the white background is the background layer and to do that if we look down at the bottom of the layers palette we've got new layer you see the little create a new layer button there next to the bin which we click and it comes up in layer one so that's the first step so now we're working on this layer layer one the tool that we're going to use for this is a lasso tool when you lock down your tools on the left hand side you've probably got this standard lasso tools there displayed lasso tool there so if I hold down the mouse on that we're going to use the polygonal lasso tool so click on polygonal lasso tool and just very quickly how this works you click once and you get looks like a piece of elastic that you've attached an anchor point to I mean, every time you click you get another anchor and when you close or double click you get the marching ants which is your selection I'll just undo that okay so what we're actually going to create is a brush that looks like a shattering glass effect so Imagine you've got you've just thrown a brick through a window. Uh, if you're not sure what, what that looks like, just get a brick now and throw it through your window, and you'll see that you get like a, a shattering of glass all spraying out from the middle, and, and that's the creative effect that we want, we want to do. So basically, what we're going to do is to draw little shreds of glass or shards of glass, I should say. So basically shapes, and I'm double clicking each time. If you get that little string attached and you're stuck and you can't sort of get away from that, press the escape key on the keyboard and that will get rid of that for you. So we're just creating shapes like this. Just imagine pieces of glass shattering out from the center. Now this may take me a little while, I haven't got to go too mad because there's a, a little trick I can show you after to, to make this process a bit faster. And different sizes, we'll put some small ones in there. Again, I'm 
I need to press the escape key there. They haven't all got to be triangular, they can be sort of any shape. Okay, that'll do for the time being. Let's do one more of that. Here we go. So that's our shatter effect. And we just need to colour that in there. So for that we use the, the bucket tool, which you see on the left, the paint bucket tool. And also we need to make sure that the colour is on black. So if you've got any other colour there, just change the top colour there to black. If you click the little buttons above that, the default colour buttons that will change to black and white and you can change between the two by just flicking it with the little boomerang shaped arrows there so make sure black's on top we just click and there's our, our effect now I'm just going to deselect this so we go to select deselect and you see that's our that's our layer now what I'm going to do with this is to copy this layer, so I'm going to left click on the layer or control click on the Mac and we go to duplicate layer so we've now got two instances of that layer and if I click on the move tool which you will see at the top left of the tools there if I move the mouse just to the corners of this, you can see that I can create this boomerang shape and I can actually hold down the mouse and rotate that. I'm going to resize it also, so I've got to go to one of the corners and I'm going to hold down the shift key while I resize it and that will keep the proportion. You don't have to do that, but if you don't, if I let go of the shift key, you can see that you can distort it always. And if you hold down the shift key, it will then go back to the original shape. I'm just going to make it smaller. I'm going to put that in this position and just resize that and move it around. Just makes the process a bit quicker. Let's actually go a bit larger on that one. Okay, so I press enter and I've got it how I want it. I'm going to duplicate that layer again. So I right click again, duplicate layer. Same thing again, just going to move that round and I'm going to make it smaller. Press the enter key. And there's what's going to be my brush. The next thing we need to do is to get all these layers that we've uh, up there layer one layer one copy layer one copy two and we need to merge all those together to do that we click on the top one on the top layer go down to layer one hold down the shift key on the keyboard and click and that will select all three layers and then right click in this area and go to merge layers and then you should just be left with the two layers, the background and the layer one, layer two copy. Now this is going to be our brush. So the next thing we need to do is to select the area. So we go to select all. And you'll see the marching ants around that. So again, select all. There you go. And then we need to make this a brush. We need to define it as a brush. And to do that, you go to Edit on the menu. And you'll see, just past halfway on there, Define Pattern and Define Brush Preset. It's the Define Brush Preset we want. We click on that. A little box comes up, and we can give it a name. So I'm going to call it, uh, I'm going to call it Shards. 
shards of glass and I'll also put les on the ends so I know that it's one I've created and I click on OK. Now basically we can we can close this image now, close it with the X and don't save it. We'll just see what we've created now. So when we go to file, we'll just get a new file. Uh, we'll change it to custom again. Bottom there. We'll put a size of 2000 pixels by 1400. I'll leave it at that. 1410 is okay, just as an example. There's our image. And now what we've got is actually a brush. If we go to the brushes and I click, my last brush will be the shards less one you can see there, the one I've just created. And if I click on the document there, you can see that it paints. And I can change the size of the brush by going to the size there. change the colour change the size I'm using the keyboard to change the size in this case which is a little trick I'll show you later so we create some shards of glass okay not brilliant you think it <laughs> But it's great what you can do with this brush when we, we actually do the next exercise you can see how we can use this to, to create a, an exploding glass effect on a picture. Okay so that's the end of this lesson of creating a brush.